All right, so today I'm working in the shop on a Yamaha XT225. This was a no spark issue. So immediately you pull off the seat and well, obviously after checking your spark plug and continuity through your coil, pulled off the seat here and the connections for the stator are right underneath the seat here. So we unplug that and the stator is off of this bike here because that is actually the problem. And so here we are. I have just installed a new stator. Here is the old stator. And I'm going to show you how you can test this to, to be sure that your stator is the issue. So first of all, when you pull that seat off on the bike, you'll have all these connectors at the top. On these white ones, on a good stator, you should have continuity between here and here and between here and here, between all of them. And this here is, this plug here is for the coil on the stator that makes your spark voltage. And so on this particular one, so if you see here, this connector here connects to this coil right here. And this coil has no continuity through it. So overall, you'll want to set your meter on 2000 ohms and you should get readings between all these wires. Yellow and brown, yellow and green, you should get readings. This stator that was in the bike was not giving us any readings. It's broken inside. The new one, however, I've been able to test and I get ohm readings uh, between all these wires here. So I'm going to list in the comments on this video what you should see between these wires on a new stator. <clears throat> also, over here in the corner you have your pulser coil. This bike actually had two problems. The wires were broken here for the pulser coil. So there's no continuity on that coil. There's no continuity between these two wires. And this is also something you can check just from underneath the seat of the bike without even pulling the stator off yet. So I was also able to trace and found that the break in the wire was in here. I soldered it together and this pulser coil should work again. So we're going to put this back on a bike and see if we have a running machine. All right, so stator is back on. Connections are all hooked up. I still didn't have spark. What the heck? I knew my stator was good. Um, I decided to check my on off switch. Let's check the simple stuff first. And so when you turn your switch, here's the connector for the switch right here. When you turn your switch, it's going to connect the black and red wire together, which basically turns on power to the bike. Your light will come on on the bike side. That's the switch connector on the bike side. It's actually a brown and red. And the switch also, on this particular switch, it's a green and a black with a white wire. But on the bike side, it's blue and blue with a white wire. It's also supposed to connect those two wires together. Now I have my meter set on ohms. And I flick that switch, I get nothing. Turn it off, turn it on again, nothing. So... What we do next to test this out is I made these little jumpers. I'm going to connect the blue and the white blue together. And then when I connect the red and the brown together, that turns on power to the bike. So I'm going to do that now and we'll see if we have spark. All right, so I got my little jumpers in, red and the brown blue and blue with a white stripe those are connected so we'll go down here and got a plug in here 
and let's see if I can hold the camera and hit the start button at the same time. It looks like spark to me. All done. We gotta get a new on. We gotta get a new key switch. Sorry for this bike. Let's try it out. Not bad. 